uh, hello guys and uh, welcome to my new video in this video I'm going to introduce you to morphing animations in Android studio so please watch this video until the end uh, because I'm going to share some valuable information uh, details and everything you need to know before you start creating uh, morphing animations so uh, morphing is a popular name for uh, animated vector drawable Java class uh, which uh, lets us implement so-called morphing animations uh, which are essentially SVG or vectors who uh, shifts from one shape to another like in this example here Uh, SVG stands for uh, Scalable Vector Graphics. Uh, it's an uh, XML based vector image format for uh, two dimensional graphics with uh, support for interactivity and animation. Uh, I won't bother you uh, explaining the difference between the raster and uh, vector images. I hope you already know the main differences between those two. But if you don't, then uh, please search it on uh, Google or Wikipedia. Uh, okay, so uh, SVGs are made up from uh, path data among other stuff. So if we want to create a vector shape in Android Studio uh, XML, we need to write down path commands and few other things, uh, which look something like this. Uh, many developers don't like uh, writing uh, this by themselves. It's too annoying and time consuming job. So if you're wondering why I'm talking about uh, SVGs, uh, it's because we're going to use vectors in order to create beautiful animations in Android Studio. Uh, okay, so a few guys uh, out there uh, have recognized this problem about creating uh, SVG animations and they decided to create a tool or application to make this morphing anima animating uh, job a lot easier. So a big thanks for uh, those guys and respect, of course. Uh, I'll put the GitHub link uh, down in the description so you can check out and uh, leave a positive feedback on their project and show a little appreciation for uh, their effort. Uh, so uh, basically uh, they have created a web application named uh, Shapeshifter. Uh, Shapeshifter is a web application that uh, simplifies the creation of icon animations for Android, iOS and the web. Uh, this tool currently exports to standalone SVGs, SVG uh, sprite sheets and uh, C uh, CSS keyframe animations for the web, as well as to an uh, animated vector drawables format for Android. Uh, that one is important for us. Uh, so that uh, basically means that we do not have to write down this uh, long and boring code for animations in Android Studio. Uh, we can use their uh, graphical user interface web application to create animations uh, and with just one click export uh, the whole animation in XML format and import in Android Studio without any troubles. So now I'm going to show you that tool and uh, I'm going to show you its environment and how it works. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to show you the Shapeshifter tool. Uh, navigate to shapeshifter.design and the URL will be down in the description. So we have a canvas here, blank canvas, and we have few options here. Play, forward, backward button, uh, slow motion button and uh, repeat button here. Okay, uh, next we have a timeline here. Uh, remember to change uh, this uh, timeline duration at the beginning of your uh, project. It's very important. So we're going to set duration to 500 uh, milliseconds. It will be uh, enough for now. And uh, next uh, we have here a layer area. So now we're going to import our SVGs. So there are two SVGs, minus and plus. And as you can see, uh, those two uh, SVGs are overlapping and this uh, blue line uh, is indicating uh, our, uh, our shape and when we click uh, plus shape we get uh, another uh, shape. So we can change those names uh, of our vectors to plus and minus here and just below the name we have a path data. So um, 
there are difference between uh, path data between minus and plus. As you can see, uh, in plus uh, path data, we have a longer uh, path. So, um, in order to those two be compatible uh, to morph, uh, we need to have uh, the same path uh, commands uh, length. And now let's create a path data animation. Just click here, and we need to change the value to value. Uh, to our uh, plus uh, path data as you can see from value is minus path data and to value is uh, plus path data so uh, and now we'll change the end time to 500 milliseconds and now we're going to get a new screen so in this new screen um, you can see the dots here or paths so on our minus shape we have 4 and on plus shape we have 12 so that means those two are incompatible and when I click this uh, auto fix uh, it will uh, increase the size of our paths on our minus uh, vector and those two are now compatible. So as you can see uh, the animation sh should look something like that. If we move those uh, path dots uh, we can get a different uh, kind of animation. So. You can play a little bit here and uh, try it out uh, what uh, animation works the best in a specific case. Um, that was it for this tutorial. I just, wa I just wanted to introduce you to this uh, Shapeshift tool. And uh, in next tutorial uh, I'm going to create a beautiful animation and I'm going to implement that in Android Studio to show you how uh, it works. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like if you uh, find it helpful and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video.